Hi guys, my name is Sharon and welcome back to the guest house. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm in the mood for fresh baked bread and I'm thinking why not try baking it in this tiny RV oven? Why not, right? So the bread that I'm going to be making today is um, from a recipe from Cook's Illustrated Magazine. Uh, I pulled it off of their website. It's the it is American sandwich bread. The idea behind this American sandwich bread is that it should hold together while you're eating a sandwich um, because nobody likes bread that falls apart when you're eating your sandwich. Um, I'm going to try first I'm gonna bake a regular old loaf in this guy. You all know what that is. It's just a regular old loaf pan. But I found this fun gadget on Somebody posted this on Facebook and so I ran right out to Amazon and I bought one because I wanted to try it. Basically, it's just a silicone bowl. So pretty handy silicone bowl for the RV, but it's got this little twist. It's got these little buttons and you can button this right up. So you put your bread loaf in, you button it right up. I think you can see that. And then you just pop it right in the oven and when it's cool, you can just unbutton it and the bread loaf should like about like a little football maybe like a little french loaf so we're gonna see how that works out anyway so my bread i have mixed it up and it's on its first proof um, basically the idea is that you proof the bread punch it down put it in the loaf pans proof it again and then put it in a prepared oven so i'm heating up my oven and um, as soon as it is finished being proofed, it's got about 20 minutes left. It's almost risen to about double. And um, then I'll bring it in here and we'll finish it up right here in the RV and right on the counter. So stay tuned. I'm just putting them right on top of the pizza stone. We'll see how that works. Usually that works fine for most foods. So it's unfortunate for you that you cannot smell this bread baking. It smells so good. I had stepped out of the trailer for about 10 minutes and when I came back in, the smell of fresh baked bread is just throughout the trailer. It just smells so good. This is what we're looking at here. This looks pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty nice looking. It's been about hmm, 15 or so minutes. And so a couple more minutes and I'm going to spin these around. Okay, so let's turn these around. They look pretty good, but I don't think they're quite done. So we're gonna turn the temperature down just a touch. And opening up the oven should help cool it down just a little bit. Okay, so I rotated the bread and the oven temp seemed a little high. So even though my thermometer says that it was roughly around 350, it might have been a little hotter than that. So I turned the temperature down and um, rotated the pans, and I think they'll be fine. Um, I may not need to cook them the entire 40 minutes. Maybe I only need to cook them for 30 minutes. So I set a timer for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna take them out. Well, this one is a little interesting. I'm gonna pop these open. <laughs> the silicone is hot, so you can't just you know, pop it with your fingers. I tried to. I popped one open with my fingers. And it's slippery. There we go. So, that's what that looks like. <laughs> you can see where it got pinched. But it's fine. So, I'm going to let the... I'm going to let those go. <laughs> that's cute. And um, in 15 minutes, I'm going to turn them out onto a rack. And then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes, and which is long enough for me to be able to handle 
this guy. And so I'm just going to roll him right out of here. And look, see the bottom? It's nice and soft, just like a sandwich bread should be. You can see the bottom of the bowl indentation. But the loaf itself looks good. It's a nice little football-shaped loaf, which is fine. Okay, This one, also 15 minutes later, and the pan is easy to hold. And same thing, you can see how, how tender that bread is, right? It looks really good. I mean, look how good that looks. Nice and tender. The top is has softened up a little bit since I took it out of the oven, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these sit. And the recipe says that you should let them sit for a couple of hours. Um, I'll probably let them sit for about another 10 or 15 minutes, and then I'll slice it open because I want to see what they look like inside. Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, so this is the football shaped one. Now look at that bread. It's perfect, right? Like this is perfect. It's got good spring, but it definitely is a bread that you can make a sandwich with, right? Let's take a look at this one. Mm-hmm. Now, it's only been about 10 minutes since I took it out of the oven. When you wait a little bit longer, the top crust softens up a little bit easier, and then you can um, cut it better because it doesn't squish when you're cutting it. You can see how rolling that really kind of made for a nice um, crumb inside. So that looks really good. Delicious bread, very happy. Alrighty, well, so that was a lot of fun. I will say this. I am less concerned about baking bread in my RV oven. It turned out so well, um, even better than I expected. I was a little skeptical. I was kind of feeling like I'd burn it, but I didn't. It came out perfectly. It's wonderful. It's delicious. I'll show you pictures. And um, I would totally do it again. I'm going to put the, a link to the recipe that I use down below. So if you want to try it, I promise you it is the easiest bread recipe ever. You can hand mix it. You don't have to use a stand mixer. It'll come out exactly the same. Um, the only thing that you really want to do is you just want to be vigilant. And I think that kind of goes with baking in an RV oven anyway. You do pay a little more attention. It's not like in your house where you set the temperature, you set a timer, you walk away, you come back when you hear the timer doesn't quite work that way. You do have to come back periodically, take a look at it. But I will say, I went in the house for a solid 10 minutes at a time and then came back out. Another thing that you can do is you can actually proof this in your fridge. So you can mix the dough before you leave. You can put it in your RV fridge and let it proof overnight and then punch it down and just let it proof on your countertop for another hour until it rises and then you can stick it in the oven. It makes it so easy as a great bread to travel with. So I think this is a recipe that you could definitely take along with you when you um, are traveling and then you can have fresh baked bread whenever you want, which would be really great. So go make some bread in your RV oven. It's really not that hard. I'm not a professional baker, I'm a home baker. And so if I can do it, you can do it. I'm absolutely confident. And honestly, wouldn't a great, hot, fresh baked loaf of bread be just the thing that you need on a cold camping trip? <laughs> I think so. Absolutely. The smell of the fresh baked bread, the taste of fresh baked bread with salted butter on it. Oh, it's just so good. Mmm. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you get notified that we put out a new video and you get to watch it right away, which would be awesome. We like to put out videos that show how we use our RV and how we make the most of our RV and some of the things that we might change or adjust about our RV. We've got a whole bunch coming. We're going to do some modifications to the twin beds here, and we're going to do a few additional little modifications to help make living in this 23 foot RV a little easier while we're out on the road. So thanks for being our guest. We hope to see you next time. Bye guys.